What's up boys and girls, it's your boy Tech Raj and I'm back with another player review. Now you guys have been requesting this one as well for a long time, I know you hear that a lot, but this one you guys have really asked me for a lot. And the only reason why I even considered it is because of you guys. And let me tell you something, I'm glad I did. Spoiler alert. So we got 96 overall signature Darren Sproles. He's going to give plus two agility to the entire squad when he's on the field. He has 96 speed, 97 acceleration, 93 carry, 97 ball carry vision, 97 elusiveness, 74 truck, 98 juke move, and 97 ball carrier vision. Now one of the things that you can't see is that he does have the high motor trait. He does have 91 catching. He also braces against all hitters and he's not going to drop open passes. Now he only has 88 stiff arm, he has a 95 spin move, which is pretty good. His spectacular catch is 71, catch in traffic 83, route running is 88. And his pass blocking is in the 40s. Now of course, on the surface, he's not going to look like the best of backs, but I'm going to compare him against a back that I think about, and it's, you know, he's not going to be that 99 overall Marshall Falk. But once you start comparing him against other running backs around him, for those of you looking for a third down back, or if you like to run a lot of screens, if you really like using your running back as a receiver, in real life football, of course, a lot of people that really know the NFL are gonna automatically think about Darren Sproles. Specifically more of whenever he was with the Saints, not much when he was with the Eagles, man, but like, you know, when I start putting him against a lot of running backs, he really does well. But then of course, towards the end, if I put him against running backs that a lot of people out there use as their main running back, I, I, I guess that's why a lot of people aren't rushing out there to get him. But as always, I say, let's go ahead and take him out to the field and see how indeed he plays. And I didn't really know what I was in for, but let me tell you with the moves, even up the middle, I'm not just talking about passing plays. This guy was an absolute monster is what I'm gonna tell you. That high motor trait really made it so that he would break a lot of tackles and he was very elusiveness. The speed was pretty crazy and agility wise, it was very easy for him to get in and out of cuts. Now many times I would see him run into linemen or get bumped off of his routes and then continue on as if nothing had happened. But the crazy thing was, even whenever I was driving the ball up the middle, he was able to break tackles on the regular. You wanna talk about tosses? A lot of you guys like tosses, hey, guess what, I do too. The speed bursts that he would get as he would run to the outside were phenomenal. If you put him out in the open field behind linemen, it was definitely a GG. Now his price tag is in the low 100s, which really makes him a catch. It's really cool to see a player that is this short, and you can see it on this run, just beast this way, man. I mean, he just reminded me like of a little Mighty Mouse. And then once he hit open field, guys, he was gone. This happened on a regular basis. I made complaints on my last player review about Marshawn Lynch about not being able to turn, turn a corner. I mean, you could do that with this player in your sleep. And it really felt like whether I was using special moves or not, he was always breaking tackles. I mean, right there, like he was definitely done for. You saw that little speed boost right there to the sideline. These are things that would happen on the regular. Now, the animations you would get with him out in the open field whenever you were making catches were just amazing. Linebackers couldn't really hang with him one-on-one. -on -one. And many times I had safeties or defensive backs just have angles on me and he would just shred those angles. The great thing is that with inside zones, a lot of you guys didn't just run inside zones to the outside. A lot of you guys like to cut him inside, specifically whenever you have an opponent that can read him out pretty easily. And this guy really excelled at doing that. Have a big hole, he's gonna definitely hit the hole really, really quickly and get you nice chunks of yardage. Right here, as you can see, my opponent pretty much knew I was running tosses. Try to make sure that he was on top of him but could do it to no avail. I mean, this card right here, is really the epitome of a third down back. A lot of you guys can definitely afford this and have him as your third down back or have him as a change of pace back. Now, if you really like the Marshawn Lynch, you didn't really like the speed, but you wanted somebody who could bruise and break tackles, man, pairing him up with a guy like this is definitely gonna throw your opponents off. 
because they're not gonna be expecting the speed you're gonna get from this guy. This is a really huge thumbs up for me, man. And he's definitely a gem out there that not a lot of people are rocking, but they definitely should be. He's not gonna be really good in the passing game. I'll tell you that much as far as a blocker goes. Like he definitely lacks in that category, but you want somebody, like I said, for tosses, screens, man, and just passing out the backfield, this is your dude. Anyway, go ahead and like, subscribe, and peace. Now this guy's gonna be a really good upgrade if you have like a running back in the 90s or 89 or whatever it is, but some of these running backs that you're getting for 30 and 40,000 coins that are 97, 96 overall. Through my feeling of injustice, I'm gonna be a straight fucking savage with this card and make my opponents pay for my anger that I have directed towards EA.